this video demonstration, we're going to take a look at the image picker in 3D Coat and see how, just how valuable it can be. Now, if, if you have a second monitor, oftentimes you'll use that for image references. But you take your head away from the work that you're doing to look over there. And some, sometimes it's much more convenient to have your image in the same screen. So in 3D Coat, inside the color picker, if you go to the Windows menu under pop-ups, under the color picker, the image picker is integrated within that. So if you click on this little drop list here, you get to the very bottom under image picker. And now you can see some controls here. I'm going to try to get a little bit more real estate. And so I'm going to click select. So I can grab my reference images. Okay, and uh, you get the idea. So, uh, actually, I'll grab a few more here. We uh, can now see that you have a little bit of transparency. And once you hover over an icon, you'll see a larger thumbnail. Just like you would if you are over here and hovering over a tool you'll see a larger thumbnail of the icon itself. Okay, so it's very handy. Yeah, and if you have a long list, you can actually scroll. In this case, I don't. If you want to get rid of one of the images, you click on the little X here to remove that. You can zoom in on a specific area. You don't necessarily need a huge face, although you could. You could uh, actually move this and dock it wherever you like. Again, you don't have to move your head away from the work that you're on. You can just take a quick peek and you can middle mouse, drag the pan. Again, you can zoom in and out. If you're zoomed in quite a bit and you want to frame in, you can just click this little target icon. If you're zoomed in, you can pan to different sections of your image to focus on that. And obviously you can pick colors from this as well. So if you're uh, working in Paint Workspace, uh, you can use a color picker to sample image color. So yeah, I hope this helped. That's an invaluable little tool. With that, we'll conclude this demonstration, and thank you for watching.